Hi everyone, today I want to share another new stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Bloom by Bloom. It's in the Occasions catalog. It's a very pretty and bold floral set and I love the bold images on this and the bright colors that kind of go along with it in the catalog. Here's some of the bold florals. A lot of navy and calm clover, navy polka dot flowers. I actually used up my favorite one which was this green and navy flower and I used all of it so I wish I could show you. This is a catalog. It's a really fun pattern and I don't have any of it left. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, I can recreate it because it was made but mostly with um, these florals right here. So you can recreate the patterns in the paper with the stamps and make your own color combinations which is really fun. And while I have it out I want to show very fast the sweet. This is something we made when I was in um, at the Orlando On Stage event with Stampin' Up! and it uses the stamps but this paper back here is actually from a card pack and there are envelopes small two sizes of cards so you fold it in half and two sizes of envelopes and then where are the envelopes? Let me show you them. They are very cute. They have striped lining. Isn't that sweet? Anyway, and you can make um, cards with a stamp set and designer series paper or little cards in the Memories and More pack are designed to fit these cards. So you've got this size, the smaller size, fits on the smaller note card and you've got envelopes and there's a whole stack of patterns here and they're really cute. This one says remember when, which would be great for scrapbooking, which I think mostly these cards are used for, but they're so awesome. When you're done with your scrapbook page, you're going to have some leftover cards and you're going to want to use these cards on, or you can write, you know, this could be a happy birthday. And the, like I said, these are very playful and fun. They're double-sided. I love the colors. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And you can put a stamp on there and bow and a ribbon. And, Anyway, and then the larger cards in the Memories and More pack, that's yeah, a fun one, are sized to fit the larger cards. So it's your background for your cards. Perfect. It's done all the work for you. It's already cut and sized. Happy birthday. Look right there. Just tie a ribbon around it. So there's just a whole pack of cards and envelopes to make quick cards. I like this one in the Memories and More packs. So check out Memories and More packs and the matching cards and envelope packets and you can make all kinds of stuff. But we're going to make our own little custom variety here with the Bloom by Bloom stamp set and it's a really simple card to put together. I have little packs because we did this at Stamp Camp. So here's our little card pack. And I have a card base in Calypso Coral and a uh, cardstock Whisper White which is just a five and a quarter by four. This tiny little strip is going to go at the bottom. I like to do that. And then the front is a designer series paper four by five and a quarter and another strip five and a quarter by one inch to go down the center. And this is Night of Navy and it's four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Is that everything in there? Yep. And look at the inside got this cute little strip of paper here and I didn't finish this one up but let me show you this one. Look at this cute little flower. It's like Mary Inglebright. Do you remember, anybody remember that? <laughs> anyway it's really cute and it's made with this little punch pack and this stamp set is offered as a bundle with this little punch pack and if you buy them together you save 10% and you get three little flowers and then this one has a little circle and a little leaf and it's cute to make the center of your flower a different color and then the little leaf. That's really sweet. I think it looks cute on the inside here but imagine it you can make a whole bunch of them on the front of a card and it's just a cute little flower. I can add it to just about anything really. I can add another one here if I wanted but I thought I had enough going on. So anyway very cute little punch pack. So I'm going to put the stuff that I can put down I'm going to put down quick real so that we get it, all these little pieces out of our way. I love this one. Okay. 
there is the base, the background of our card. And then for the front decoration here, we're going to make this Knight of Navy background piece with some embossing. To get that white, I wanted that pop of white, we need to emboss. So I'm going to use this little background stamp and Versamark ink. If you're not familiar with Versamark ink, it's clear but sticky. So you're going to be able to stick embossing powder down. So I just strip at the top and a strip at the bottom. We're going to shake white embossing powder. Not sure if you know this, but in the large catalog, the main annual catalog, there's actually embossing powder in the, um, some colors, and there's Call Me Clover, which is this green. And I thought that might be fun too. But I forgot about it till after I made my sample. <laughs> Embossing powder lasts forever. You just kind of shake some on, shake it off, and this little tub is years old. Okay, now we're going to heat that up. I'm going to fast forward during heating because it's kind of a loud little heat tool, and um, it's fun to watch, so watch it turn. Right now it kind of looks cloudy and dull, and when it heats up it's going to be a nice bright white. So there's that. And then you need a piece of scrap white. Oh, that's an old one from a different card. Okay, and we're going to stamp our flowers. So I'm using Calypso Coral just like in the background, but I wanted a lighter version. So we're going to ink it up. Then we're going to stamp it off on the side here to get some of that ink off and then stamp again on our Whisper White and then it's a lighter shade. But then on this small one, we're going to do full strength. That's nice and dark. And then, since I have this paper out, I'm going to stamp my little sentiment here. And that's from Itty Bitty Birthdays. I love the little itty bitty series. There's itty bitty birthdays and itty bitty greetings. Maybe they'll come out with itty bitty Christmas. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, it's a great little collection of sentiments, and you get a pack, a kind of a large set, and you've got so many different fonts on the birth. <coughs> Sorry, you've got so many different fonts on the birthday one, and I like it. We're using this one here, but I love how you get a small, uh, thin font, thick. This one's great for kids. This one's more pretty. You've got a whole bunch of different fonts for birthdays there. I'm punching this out now. The newer punches don't look like this. My one and a quarter punch is kind of an old style one. It's not broken, so why get a new one? But the new ones look like this. You're probably already familiar with that. Okay. And then I have to fussy cut these, but I don't mind cutting. I kind of think it's therapeutic. So I'm going to cut that out. While I cut it, I will fast forward so you don't have to watch me cut. I also stamped this, and I forgot to do it on film. <laughs> this is the leaf, and it's stamped in Call Me Clover, and it is this one here. And there are two sizes, a small one, so you can do some of these smaller leaves and the little separate ones. Really fun. I noticed I teach um, little children sometimes at um, Sunday school type class, and I noticed that they you know, we turn the paper when we cut as adults, and a lot of them don't do that. They're trying to cut with the scissors, and they make tiny little cuts. It's kind of funny. I was trying to show them make one long, long cut, not a series of tiny ones, and turn your paper. It's just something you gotta figure out. There. 
So now I've got all my parts. So I glued the little stem flat down. And the rest are popped up with some dimensionals. Now I'm using some satin Calypso coral ribbon and on my sample here I went all the way around and tied it in a bow on the front but as I've decided that I'm making a bunch of these I am instead going to make little bows and put a glue dot and just glue it on front. And there you have it. Oh, and the little flower inside. Now I punched a bunch of these already because as I said, I have to make a ton of them. So I've got my little flowers. I love this little punch with these tiny little flowers. I think they're gonna be a really sweet addition to all kinds of things. They are tiny though. Where's my little take your pick tool? <laughs> Sometimes I forget it's kind of a newer thing and I forget that I own it. I'm going to slip that right under there. See? Use your take your pick tool. Oops, that's my cap to my glue. There we go. <laughs> that's what happens when your desk, if I panned out here and showed you my desk, you would be amazed at the amount of product on my desk right now. Okay, anyway, this is my swap card. I'm making this for our downline swap. So, sideline, downline, everybody swap. <laughs> anyway, it's a really fun and I think pretty card and um, I hope that you like it. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. I love to share my Stampin' Rewards with you by having a frequent buyer point tracker and you get to choose free stamp sets and hope what you can even use the hostess host stamp sets that are exclusive and I love to share those so please look at my blog bestpapercuts.com and uh, you'll see that in under the header you can click on the frequent buyer rewards program under my header and I hope you subscribe to my channel and come back again thanks so much for watching bye bye